This whole business of net neutrality, you know, the big lobbies back in Washington, D.C., want you to think this thing is so big and so complicated, and people hear the words net neutrality, and they say, well, did somebody think up some new kind of tennis lingo or something like that? What is this net neutrality? Folks, this is real straightforward. With internet neutrality, we keep the internet free of discrimination for all time. That's what this is all about, plain and simple. Today, after you pay your internet access charge, you get to take your browser and go where you want, when you want, and how you want. And everybody can be treated equally. Real simple not as complicated and as arcane as some of these big lobbyists are trying to make you think. And of course, we've got some of the big cable lobbies and the big phone company lobbies trying to spend millions and millions of dollars saying that they ought to be able to be in the discrimination business. If they're successful, let's call them that. They'll be the discriminators. That's what we'll call them. And they will be able to discriminate in favor of people with deep pockets and people whose own content would get a better break. That's what this is all about. And I'll tell you, if you permit discrimination on the internet, it is the end of the net as we know it today. That's what this fight is all about. And that's why the people who are opposing our coalition are willing to spend millions and millions of dollars to defeat us. This would have special implications for Oregon's lifeblood, which are our small businesses. And that is a prime reason why I have put so much effort into, these, into this cause. The small businesses in our state, and I want to be very specific about this so that people see what's on the line here, they are not going to be able to afford the whopping fees that they would have to pay over to the phone and cable companies that they could charge them and that the big businesses would be able to pay to get to the net. So that's a bit about where we are in terms of the substance. And I want to wrap up by describing to you what's going on in the United States Senate today. Legislation passed the key communications committee, called the Commerce Committee, in the Senate that would essentially gut net neutrality and permit discrimination on the net. It would basically fillet this whole issue of whether or not you are going to allow discrimination, and they would. They would not do anything to enforce a prohibition on discrimination. So about 10 minutes after the bill passed the committee, I went to the floor of the United States Senate and announced a public hold on the legislation, which means they cannot move forward until they get 60 votes. So the sponsors of the legislation right away came out and said, whoa, we're going to be able to round up the votes. We're going to be able to find the support. We're going to be able to uh, carry out uh, our position on the floor of the Senate. Well, what happened is all the people that are sitting in these chairs and the groups represented here joined with 750 other organizations more than 700 organizations. And together, all of us, all the organizations and our supporters in the Senate, like Republican Senator Olympia Snow and uh, Democratic Senator Byron Dorgan, we blocked, we blocked the effort to get 60 votes. So we won round one, but the fight is far from over. We did win a big round. We won a round nobody thought we were going to win. They thought they were going to have 60 votes, you know, lickety split and be able to take this through. But all the people in these grassroots organizations won round one. 
But that doesn't mean that the fight is over, because they will come back, I'm sure, during the course of the lame duck session, which will take place shortly uh, after the election. They're going to try again to see if uh, they have uh, the votes. But I also want to say that the success of our efforts in my hold is not a complete victory, because stopping bad legislation is one thing. And we're going to pull out all the stops to do that. But enacting good legislation that does protect the net from discrimination is another story. And due to decisions by the United States Supreme Court and the Federal Communications uh, Commission last year, net neutrality protections that have existed since the dawn of the net are no longer in place. So in addition to blocking this bad bill, in addition to making sure that we can carry out uh, the hold, we have another challenge, and that is to actually pass legislation with strong net neutrality uh, protections so the net uh, can flourish.